right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she is putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. All right, so here she is, the former UFC strawweight champion, Thug. Rose Nama Yunus. Amazing what she was able to do against Ioana Yeo and Jacek times two. Another big spot for the 115 pounder here tonight. And John Cora, as impressive as that first young Jacek fight was, I believe the second one was even better because it showed the true evolution of Rose Nama Yunus. To be able to stand for 25 minutes and outstrike Ioana Yeo and Jacek was truly, truly something special. Initially, she was one of those fighters that was trying all kind of things and wasting actions. Right. But now, as she won the belt, you saw her really find herself, and it showed in the second Young Jacek fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. It's for DC first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer holding professional record on. 16 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Alexa Grossa! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record on. 12 wins, five losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Thug Rose! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is not a This fight stylistically plays out a true striker against the well round. This is a big time fight feel. People have been pining for this matchup for a really long time. They wanted to see how the striker would handle someone that would try to force them into uncomfortable situations. Let's see how this thing plays out. Oh, well, look at her crack with that uppercut. She's got a great jab, some nice hooks, but she likes that uppercut tonight. And that's why it's so effective, John. As you said, it comes off. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? <laughs> oh, and they separate. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Final minute. Ooh, what a punch. Try to establish that jab. 
Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. Beautiful take down lane. And this might just be a matter of time. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yeah, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. Ready, fight. Ready. Round two is underway. Just a slip there. Beautiful kick. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one two. What about the one two? What about the one two three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Great punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, swing and a miss. How about the slip by her there? What a great job of moving her head right at the right time. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. She missed with that jab. Back and forth we go. Oh. where she is, she's in the octagon still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. So just over 20 total strikes which have connected for Alexa Grasso. Well, and if you're scoring at home, connecting at an accuracy rate of just 31% here against Rose Nama Yunus. That's what I'm talking about. She blocked the punch. All right, that's the end of round number two. Stop, stop, stop. Excellent. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. I need another one just like that. You won that one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like punching technique, that round was about as good as it gets. Yeah, it looks like a boxing fight. She does a great job of using her hands to set everything up. But she's so fast and she's so sharp with those punches. It allowed her to really control that round. Ready, fight. Ready. Third round underway. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Rosso gets caught with that punch. Oh, she's got a good left hand and put it to good use there, DC. She's very accurate with that strike. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, big head kick. Grasso's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Grasso. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Got a clip with the right hand. Nama Yunus gets in the clinch. Let's see if she can use her length now. Oh, she connected with that right hand, DC. She's so fast when she throws it. There is no tell as to when that right hand is coming. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. So 40 total strikes. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's gonna have to find something to follow 
that big strike that she's landing over and over again. Final seconds of round three. Oh, the right hand is there for... All right, let's get to the replays from that previous round, and you got to think they plucked that flying knee, huh? Oh, it was beautiful. It was great to see someone be this free in the octagon. See an opening, take anything that shows itself. That flying knee was perfectly timed and landed beautifully. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Oh, nice right hand. Wow. Nice liver shot. Oh, straight right. Right hand punch in the clinch. Big knee to the body. Oh, she landed a combination of knees there. It forces her opponent to retreat. Devastating knees on the feet. Devastating knees. Hurt her opponent multiple times with those knees and to throw them back to back. It's truly crazy. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, solid knees again by Nama Yus. Battling for hooks. Oh, nice shot to the bottom. Takedown defense holds up. Lands a big elbow there. Beautiful punch. Knee to the body. Oh, look at that. She oh, she's hurt. Yep. So the round is over and she gets right back to the stool. The cut on her cheek is only getting worse as she continues to absorb damage to the face. That thing's only gonna get to be more of a factor for her. We will see how it plays out moving forward in this next round. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that round. She's tough, she's durable, but she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, I'm gonna put you in this fighter's shoes, okay? She is clearly losing this fight. Time is not her friend right now. You going for the finish or what? I am biting down on the mouthpiece and I am swinging from the hip. Something has to land so that she can win this fight. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. And she connects with a the punch there, Chance. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. Hey, look, you can see it. Look, she's got her. Oh! Can't take it. She has to react. She has to go chase the fish. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. What a fight. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout, near-perfect execution, and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 46 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexa Grasso! Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight.